Hello, this is Andrew with Mamillion.bike. I want to talk about something that frustrates me with Strava and an app that I use to resolve that frustration because it's awesome, but it probably shouldn't exist. So last night I was trying to figure out how many miles I have on the chain that I have on my tarmac right now. And I know when I put it on because I name every activity, every ride, every outdoor ride anyway, uniquely. And I remember that the, the name of my ride was something like The Chain. So I go to Strava and I can't find it because Strava search is pretty much useless. So the application that I use to resolve this is called VeloViewer. And I can go to my activities. Oh, I should note that VeloViewer actually has a lot more use if you're a Strava subscriber. I am not a Strava subscriber because I don't see value in the thing that they want to charge money for. This is one of the things that if they charged money for, because Veloviewer isn't free. So Veloviewer does have a free version, but you have to pay 10 pounds a year or maybe what, 13, 14 dollars a year to make it really useful so that it has all of your data. But this Veloviewer shouldn't exist. Strava could easily use the data that Veloviewer is because it's powered by Strava to do the thing that I'm going to do now, which is figure out how many miles I have on the chain. So if I go to my activities, what I want to do here is I just add a filter. I go activity name plus throw my filter in there and I say the chain, right? And so here we go. The chain feet KMC, which is the first ride that I did on this KMC chain. I can see that the date was August 13th, 2019. So now what I want to do is filter out all of the activities that are associated with the, with my tarmac. And then there's some other filters that I need to do, which includes this date to ensure that I get just the rides that I want to get. So let's do that. First, I want to add when. So when plus, and we're going to go to the 13th of 2019. And now I need to add a gear filter so that I can just get the tarmac in here. So get rid of my, all these other bikes. There we go. The final thing I want to do is I want to add an elevation filter because when I go climbing for real, I use uh, either an 1134 or an 1136 cassette, which means I'm using a different chain on the bike. And what I can do is because all of my serious climbing takes place where the starting elevation is going to be above 5,000 feet, like out in Boulder, I can add this elevation low filter here and just set this at 5,000 feet. So this will only include rides where the lowest elevation is 5,000 feet. And since Boulder is above 5,000 feet, it should exclude all of the rides that took place in Boulder. So now I can remove the activity name filter and I just get all of the rides that are associated with my tarmac in this date range and an elevation which indicates that I'm not out doing serious climbing. And so here we got a whole bunch of rides and this is where things get really cool. So I can just click on this view and wheel and it opens up this great visualization of all of these, all of the rides that I've taken and I can drill in, well, drilled in a little bit too far there. I can see that there aren't any hot points in Colorado, so I've successfully eliminated all of those. And now I can just zoom in here and see all of the rides that I've done in, in Chicago and Wisconsin, which with a total of 6,759 miles. Now, if I want to select an individual ride, I can just pick something at random and then it shows, you know, pivots the wheel and it selects that ride and highlights it in the map. And then if I want to go back, I can just select the big one, the big number again. So this is a really awesome utility. I I love VeloViewer. It is totally worth paying the 10 pounds or 14 or 15 dollars a year to get access to all of the Strava data that I should be able to access easily through Strava, but can't. So anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments or you want to share a utility that you use that is awesome, please drop those below. I have a collection of different cycling utilities that I use, but I, I don't know all of them. So always love to get uh, tips.
on what other people are using out there to, to, to make their experience better. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.